welcome to another weekend in my life. Let's have some more chats. Let's have a good time. I'm peeling potatoes. <laughs> Wild Friday night. I'm actually making gnocchi, homemade gnocchi. I've got to peel every single potato that I've got, which I think I just got like a kilogram of potatoes. I'm gonna mash them up. It's funny because I always knew. So gnocchi, delicious by the way, I only tried it the other day for the first time in my life. Cause I always thought, well, people say it's potato and I don't really want potato pasta. And I thought that that meant it actually was potato pasta. But to be honest with you, it's just potato. I don't know what people are going on about. It's literally just potato in the form of pasta. I'm fascinated by it. The texture of gnocchi is incredible. I should bite into it. It's honestly, it's like biting into like a, a pillow. Gnocchi is just one of those things that's always a good idea. I might prove that wrong tonight by my gnocchi. My gnocchi might be the first ever gnocchi known to man that's a bad idea because I've never made gnocchi before. I've never even made gnocchi where like the gnocchi itself, like the balls, are actually already made. So not only am I making the sauce, I'm also, as I've previously said, making the gnocchi itself. So if you're wondering, gnocchi is literally just potato. You boil the potatoes, which is why I'm having to peel all of them. You mash them up with some milk as you would to make mash. You add flour to it once it's cooled down and you knead it like a bread. Gnocchi is like bread, but for potatoes. Fascinating. So you're kneading your gnocchi up, then you roll it out into a long snake shape, you cut it up, and then you do like a little maneuver with your fork to make some grooves. Because I don't think my gnocchi is gonna turn out like shop or like restaurant gnocchi, because I think then you've got to have like a special gnocchi machine or like a special gnocchi cutter. Don't quote me on it. Also, another new thing, Red pesto. I've, I've not really ever tried pesto. I think I maybe tried pesto pasta once, but it wasn't my own dish. I would have just tried it from someone else. Growing up, I didn't like trying new things. My mom would make like the same dinner over and over again, which was great. I loved her dinners, but it meant that I wasn't a very experimental child. And that carried on until I was about 19 when I met Elliot and he forced me to try other foods, quite literally forced me. I remember the first time I ever had an Indian, I literally didn't want anything from the menu. I was like, no, this is, all disgusting, no offense to Indian food. But I was proven wrong. I was like, oh, I literally just have egg fried rice. It's probably the only thing I like on the menu. And Elliot refused to let me just order egg fried rice from an Indian. And he got me a chicken tikka masala and it was delicious. And yes, that is the only Indian I have tried to this day because when I like something, I don't like to switch lanes, you know? I like to stick with what I know because often the grass is not greener on the other side. So I'm worried if I get a different Indian, will it, be brown grass, you know? Will I wish that I stuck with my green chicken tikka masala, which is actually bright red, bright red. When I first saw it, I was like, what? How is it that color? We've gone completely off topic. We're talking about gnocchi, not Indian food. I'll do that another day if this goes well. I should probably clear this potato mess up. We were saying at lunch how we're probably going to go to the pub this evening, but it was sunny at lunch. It's pouring down now and we we're gonna walk there. And look, I don't really know if I fancy walking in this weather. Take, take a look at this. I don't think I picked it up, but it's absolutely chucking it down. Story of the gnocchi. So I have cooked my potatoes, as you can see, filled two pans up and I'm just gonna mash them up. Oh, blimey. It's a gnocchi time. I've got my mash and I'm adding flour and I'm going to add flour until I can knead it like cookie dough. I'm good at making cookies, so fingers crossed. Those skills translate to being good at making gnocchi. Gnocchi. This is a good time right here. Check this out. This is the gnocchi. Look at my little gnocchi balls. They're so cute. So essentially, that potato mixture, I left it in the fridge because I wanted it to cool down. You literally just roll it out like a sausage, chop it up, makes a lovely sound. Get your fork, press into your gnocchi. So it looks like this. And then you fold it. Oh, I think I folded it the wrong way. You fold it like that. So it makes a little tiny gnocchi thing. It's so cool. But I really underestimated how long it's gonna take. I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've made fourteen bits of gnocchi, and already I'm like, I'm bored now. Do you want to help? 
Do I have to? Yeah, because otherwise like you're gonna get like 12 pieces of gnocchi. Oh, wow. Might have to eat the pub at this rate. Let me tell you, I underestimated how long it would take to roll that many bowls of gnocchi. So, I'm saving it for Sunday. So you'll have to wait till the end of the video to find out how the gnocchi went. And we're going to the pub instead, even though it's raining, but we're gonna drive there. Oh, actually, it's hailing. It's hailing right now. Well, let's get dressed to go to the pub. Right, I'm ready. I'm just wearing a white top and some jeans and this little jacket. But it's from Zara that I've literally had for ages. I'm really enjoying wearing clothes that I've never worn before lately. I'm usually such a person that just wears the same thing over and over again, but I've realized wearing different things makes me feel good. My curls are just overnight curls. The ones that you wrap around your hair while you sleep. And I use a comb. I've realized this is what I used to do wrong. I used to brush them out and then they go frizzy, but you need to use a comb to make them not go frizzy. Let's go to the pub. If you watched last week's vlog, it's the same pub. Say hi. <laughs> doesn't pick up anything at this time. Can you see me? No. Can you see me? Good morning. Bright and early, it's 8 a.m. And look how nice it looks outside. It looks lovely. Look at that blue sky. Me and Elliot today, we planned to do a pub crawl. Well, I thought it'd be a good idea because I saw, you know, Lydia on TikTok? Lydia Millen, or I probably said that wrong. She has these like, extravagant things and she does like really fancy things with her husband. Anyway, I saw that she went on like a long pub walk with her husband through the countryside and I thought, yeah, me and Eric could do that. And we did it last year in summer. See how it goes in winter. But yeah, we went out to the pub last night, had four drinks and a bit of wine, but I don't really like wine, so I didn't drink it. And I, I don't know if we quite fancy a drink today but then again it's eight o'clock when do you ever wake up unless you're an alcoholic at eight o'clock and fancy a, a drink you know i feel like i've got a bit of brain fog i need to get moving get outside then we might change our minds but we're gonna make a packed lunch take a little picnic have a good time i am on sandwich making duty currently and what we've got in store for today's picnic is to be honest rather boring because i was just trying to get like the cheapest thing that they had so we've got rolls with chicken. Pretty dull, if you ask me. We've got no hummus or anything like that, or sour cream. Because I looked at the price and I was like, yeah, no thanks. We have got these though. These are banging. If you like, I used to love pop chips and I thought you can't beat pop chips. But the lentil chips have got so much more flavoring in them. Behind the scenes. We are heading out on our walk, but we're at the pub right now. <laughs> Not coming for a drink, but we need to pick Elliot's car up from last night. Very, very responsible. Do not drink and drive. Anyway, I need to follow him. And go. Is it on? Oh, yeah. action. Oh, hello. Elliot here, the cameraman. And I are off on our country walk to the pub to the coffee shop with Dexter, who it's Dexter's birthday by the way, how nice is that? I wore too many layers. Oh, and I'm out of breath as you can see because we just walked up a hill and the hill wasn't even that big. But yeah, that's all the updates I've got for you. Look how beautiful they are. First stop is a little coffee. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well deserved. Got our sandwich, had our coffee, and we're going to a pub. Ducky wants some, look at his skanky leg. <laughs> Howdy, old Ducky. Dex, what you got, buddy? You got, Not the same flavour that I had last night, but it is delicious. It's Dexter's birthday today. Dexter's the dog, by the way. And, um, it's not Elliot. <laughs> and they've got like a little dog menu here and they do dog fish and chips, dog sausage and mash. So we're gonna see how much it is because it's your birthday, isn't it, Jackie? Yeah. <laughs> but look, lamb mint and bones. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the mini chicken sausage. Oh, yes. Do you want a mini chicken sausage? Yeah. Oh, you deserve it. 
Actually, you can't just take it. Like Wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> 18,500 steps is what we just did on that walk, which I think is pretty impressive. 12K, and that's why I had a nap, because I was knackered. But we are driving to the final pub, which we only had one drink, so Elliot's fine to drive. I'd also be fine to drive. <laughs> but I'm a girl, so I feel like one unit on me, or like two units, whatever, would be more than what it would be on Elliot. But yeah, we're going to the pub again. And I'm gonna get, last night I got sweet potato chips because I wasn't that hungry and I had some salad as well before I went out. Whereas I'm I'm starving now and it's like half four and we've done a fat ass walk. So I'm getting a big man, big man meal tonight. Big man. I got his coat. <laughs> Let's go to the pub. To the pub. This just shows how uh, much of a nightmare I am. We had to move, okay, not in like a rude way, but like I was sitting at the table and I just wasn't really enjoying myself. Were you kind of panicking that I was gonna like be in a bad mood or something? Yeah, I was a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in a bad mood, it's just the vibe wasn't just with me. Whereas mood tables, we're in this cute little, <laughs> how cute it is. Whereas out there, I think I felt out of place because it's quite posh out there, whereas over here it's very country and more laid back, so I feel like we can really chill, play cards. And like, they're not constantly watching you when you're in the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna go for a walk this morning and then in the afternoon, I think we're going to the cinema to see the Bob Marley movie because if you're with Sky Go, which my mum and dad are, and my mum and dad never go to the cinema or anything like that. I don't think we've got a view near us. You get two free cinema tickets a month. So once a month, I log on to my dad's Sky Go and I get free cinema tickets for me and Elliot, which is great because there's a really good view near him. He'll be proud of me for saying view because I always say vu usually, but I'm learning. I'm saying view instead. Today, we're gonna try to make the gnocchi. I've got about a million balls of gnocchi to roll. Again, a very, very chilled Sunday. I always find I don't end up vlogging that much on a Sunday because I quite literally, I'm just done, you know, it's my relaxing day. I like to just chill on a Sunday. I'm usually a bit sleepy. We'll see though. I will show you the gnocchi though, that's for sure. 